course, the Super Bowl isn't just about football. The NFL is also using it as an opportunity to give local artists a chance to represent themselves and their community on a bigger stage. And this year, the league commissioned Arizona-based artist Lucinda Hinojos to design special edition tickets, a mock-up of the game ball, and to paint a massive mural in Phoenix, making her the first Chicana and indigenous artist to create a large-scale project for the league. And our Kana Whitworth joins us now from Phoenix, Arizona. Kana, I know you had the chance to speak with Hinojos. Host, what did this opportunity mean to her and her community? Trevor, I mean, it's incredible, right? So Hinojo says that she embodies a generation craving cultural identity, and she says she finds that through her artwork. And while she is proud to represent her community, she is also a mother and an athlete herself and wants people to know that anything is possible. With every brushstroke, a memory of a time 12 years ago when Lucinda Hinojos, a single mother of three, found herself low on funds. The bill for her two boys to enroll in football was around the corner. With every color splash, a reminder that she tapped back into a talent placed on the shelf long ago as a way to earn a living. And Hinojos began painting again, selling her artwork piece by piece until one day she received a phone call. When I first got that call from the NFL, letting me know that I got the project. I became overwhelmed with emotion and I started crying. Why? Because I went all the way back to when I was 18 years old and I had my son Dominic and I saw everything that I've been through, the hardships, the obstacles, and the hard work that I put in to be here now. She has made NFL history as the first Chicana indigenous woman to be named the marquee artist for the Super Bowl. I remember struggling to pay for their football tuition. And then here I am working with the NFL. How crazy is that? <laughs> That's an unbelievable full, full circle yeah. moment. Yeah. I want others to know my story. And I want them to know my stories because it's going to be it's validation for them that they can do it too. She sat down with me. Right after this mural she painted in Phoenix, special for the occasion, was finished and blessed by an elder. This is a historic mark for us here in Phoenix, Arizona, and for us Native people, so, and, and brown people, so it's a, it's, very, it's a very proud moment for me. Our community is so happy and proud. They came to the wall cheering and yelling and taking pictures, bringing us food, and people were, see it more than just a mural, than just a painting. They see themselves in it, and it's like they become emotional because for them, for Native people and brown people, it feels like they're being seen for the first time. Diving deep into her cultural identity, she draws strength from her ancestors and honors their stories with bright, bold colors, all except the Apache woman, who you see there in black and white, meant to represent the stories of land cultivation since time immemorial. Is there one spot in the mural that holds a particular affection of yours? Oh yeah, it's the hummingbird, the colibri, the wutsilipochli. Since I was little, they've always had a significance um, to my life. They always brought, you know, something special into my life. And then um, in the Aztec culture, we call them wutsilipochli. means like uh, when the warriors would fall, they, they pass, but they reincarnate to a hummingbird. Along with her team, including one of her adult sons by her side, she created the largest painting ever commissioned by the NFL. At 9,500 square feet, it's a permanent fixture of the Phoenix skyline. To have my son here with me is, makes me so proud and emotional. Football saved my son's life. It has like, um, given him something to look forward to and has taught him, you know, and so football means is a big part of my family and for my son's life. She has also designed custom footballs for the big game, and a select few with her autograph will be gifted to fans this weekend. And while people admire the towering artwork, the completed vision of a woman with her own rich history, they also see a mural that represents community, strength, and inspiration for anyone waiting for a sign. I just want other women to know that anything is possible and have that faith and determination to keep going because we are strong. And Trevor, they had a lot of long, hard days up high on scaffolding to finish that mural. And at one point, she told me that her son actually had to call her and tell her, Mom, 
you're part of the big leagues now, just like these football players. So she had to level up, and she did. And in doing so, she made Super Bowl history. And Trevor, you mentioned those balls. Okay, so this is the football. Here is her artwork Ooh. right here. Look at that. And that's the hummingbird that she is so proud of. That's amazing. And her son is absolutely right. Uh, Kana, we now got 48 hours till kickoff. We heard you while the piece was rolling say, we got to talk loud because it's so noisy there already. What's it like <laughs> in Phoenix right now? <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. So listen, we're at the uh, fan experience and it just opened and it's a flood of people. They're so excited to be here. But one of my favorite things I see year after year is the fans of all different teams that want to be here for the Super Bowl. They want to come to the fan experience. They just want to share in a love of football. But I mean, they have a great matchup to look forward to. And anyone here will bear witness to history. And Trevor, people in Phoenix are very proud of that. We should all be so lucky as to get the Super Bowl assignment yeah. year after year. Kana Whitworth <laughs> for us in Phoenix. Kana, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.